drama in the Dales. It just does not stop. No, it and doesn't. Flamehead beauty Faye Lamb has had quite a roller coaster ride since arriving in Emmerdale just last month. Yes, let's fill you in. Following the disappearance of her husband some 27 years previously, which must have made her about three at the time, <laughs> Faye. <laughs> well, I mean, I thought it was 27 years he was gone. <laughs> anyway, Faye presumed. What age are you? 68? <laughs> what? Anyway. I'm beginning to feel like it. <laughs> yeah. Faye presumed he was dead. Ah. But oh, oh no, 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 no. She was no. wrong. Because last year she found him and he was leading a double life with a whole new and family. Amanda Donahue and all. Oh, yes. I guess I deserved that. What business did you have coming to my house? I want you. You're back against the world. What are you sleeping with? He's oh. not your husband. He's mine. He's called Daniel. He might have changed his name and reinvented his past, but he's still the same man. Every time he left you, he came back to me. To my bed. Mum! What on earth have you been getting up to? Have you slept with him? No, she hasn't! Why the hell should I sleep with who I want? Because he's your brother. Why don't you do the right thing for once in your life and just get out? Have you heard anything from Daniel? Yeah, frankly, I'm surprised you still care. Someone has to. It's not going to be him. I'd know if he was dead, I'd feel it. You'd feel it. <laughs> Someone has to care. Yes, can yes. I just tell yeah. Eamon, you see, because he hasn't seen this. So I know what about it. Yes. Just saying, Natasha, yeah. she's actually killed him and she yeah. doesn't know. I don't we know. all know, yeah, of course, know. what's yeah. happened in the dark. sticky end. <laughs> yes. Well, that is, that's great, actually, because yes. I love those storylines when the viewers at home, oh, know. we know what's exactly. going on. And I go stumbling around saying ridiculous things like, we're going to find him. Yes. We're not going. in a good oh, state. No, you're not. <laughs> and she clearly believes that and mm. but I'm surprised that she doesn't hate him because it looks to her like he's done the same thing that he oh. did to her 27 years ago. I know it's nice for her to care isn't it after everything. Nice I... of her even to remember. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> seven years. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I, I think that's the problem. I think she's hung on to this for all those years thinking you know with that little unanswered question what really happened to him and then she found him uh, having thought he was dead. So it was very traumatic. So I think she thinks this is not going to happen to me again. I'm determined to find him. And also, I don't want anyone else to be put through that, that yes. horror. Yes. You know, my son. And your son again. Natasha's yeah. children. Great. You know, what a great story to get your teeth into. It's a great storyline, yeah. I've been very lucky. It's you must love it when those scripts come in. I, I do. And, and some of the actors like to sort of go up to the ed script editors and find out what's coming. And I really don't. I like yeah. to wait and see and be surprised. See, I'd be immediately worrying, does his end mean your end? Right. That's well, what you'd yeah, have to worry about, isn't it? I do have to think it? about that. But um, luckily so far, I'm still hanging on in there. But you see, you did have a little dalliance with Kane. Yeah. Did you yes, take yes, your mind off things? I did. So I maybe did. you need another romance. I think it's yeah. I think it's time she had some fun, <laughs> don't you? There's a few contenders, I would yeah. say, in the village. You know, mm -hmm. so to take let's hope. Fun. Kim, how do you have fun? Because uh, we all know what the schedules are like for mm. for soaps, and yet I am amazed to find out that you're studying for a, a politics degree, politics, philosophy, and history. Yes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in my last if it wasn't year, tough actually. enough. <laughs> in your last year, and you're doing that in London. Yes, yeah. I, I go to Birkbeck, London University, so it's uh, in the evening, it's for people who are working, so everybody has a tough time getting there and people yeah. have families, so it's hard, but it's fantastic. It's worth it. It really but, is. But, I mean, how, how do you actually physically do that, learn lines all, all at the same time and do the travelling yeah. that is involved to get you to Yorkshire? Uh, well, obviously the train is a great time for me to catch up on my homework, uh, so I'm writing essays like crazy at the minute, um, and I've got a dissertation that I'm working on, so uh, oh. I have a lot of work to do. Mm. Um, but, I, yeah, so I just have to do it every minute I get, and uh, weekends you, and everything at the you, moment. Oh, I'm just wondering, do you think you're unusual with your interest in politics generally? Because I find in Ireland, mm. uh, most people are interested in politics. It's, it's part of everyday yeah. life. Not so in mainland Britain, not necessarily so, especially throughout England, this, this, this interest in... And, and other countries too. I mean, I've, I've lived in America for a while and, and uh, you know, friends of mine there say, oh, I'm not interested in politics. And I honestly have never understood it. I always have been. And it's like to me saying I'm not interested in life. Every yes. single thing you do in your life, the food you put on your table, your job, your family, is affected by politics. And do you actually People believe you make a... People are very disinterested at the moment, because aren't they, they, with the they whole expenses. Yeah, exactly. They just think, oh, do you know what? They're all the same. <laughs> they're, they're all not. Shot. 
<laughs> and it's and, and the onus is on us to find out why they're not. You know, mm. f inform yourself, find out what their policies are. They're and different, we, actually. There was an yeah. amazing drama on uh, Channel Four, which we sat down and watched during the week about Mo Molum. Did you catch I, that I one? But I'm definitely Ju Julie Walters, on excellent, catch up TV. excellent. Yeah, that yeah. was. But the other thing about you is, of course, last year, you, well, you were in America working on part of the Obama campaign. I did. I did. In the, yeah, I went to Nevada with you know thousands of people from California volunteered to go on the election day because uh, it was a swing state and we wanted to win it back um, and it was a fantastic experience. I just went on my own and kind of made friends and joined in and we sort of spent the day from like five in the morning until the victory in the evening just you know knocking on doors and it was yeah it felt important. It, it, the campaign had been so negative on the McCain side it had got quite nasty and it just felt you just had to and then what, stand what, up and be counted. What do you think that when, when he came in everybody had so much hope? I mean oh. he had had an incredibly difficult legacy, yeah, obviously, to inherit and, and, and take over. What do you think of that first year of life under Obama? Um, I, I never had the unrealistic, I would call them, expectations that people had. If you know the American system, nothing happens quickly. You know, a president doesn't make legislation he recommends, and then it has to go through a, a hundred different loops and, you know, uh, processes to actually be made law. So it's always going to take time, and he's taken on something huge like health care reform. So I think it's a shame that people are disappointed. I understand it. But you have to be patient. Don't yes. give up on him. And, and see, in the tea room, the tea room in Emmerdale, yeah. uh, the green room between <laughs> takes. You could imagine. Now, when do you get? Do you get one? You know, when people have a bit of conversation and things going on. Do you get on to politics? I, you... I'm terrible. I do. I'm. It's like I'm. I'm sure, I'm sure people leave the room. It's <laughs> like, oh, she's off. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. While you two you know. talk politics, <laughs> yeah, be quiet. Um, um, no, no, let's have a look. No, because I'm more interested in tonight's Emmerdale. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to give you a little sneak while they talk politics. Here you go. Anyway, I'm sorry. I should never have said Mark was dead. And I hope I haven't made things worse. Well, none of it's been easy, has it? I just can't believe he's gone. No. But torturing ourselves about where he is and what's happened to him isn't going to do either of us any good. Oh, I agree. So uh, that's why I've hired a private detective. It go. Oh, she's not happy about that. No, she might she's not going to let it go. Out. Anyway, Emmerdale tonight, seven o'clock. Do not miss it. It's lovely to see you. As you always. too. Say hello you to too. everybody. At I Emmerdale. will. Or as we're Thank loving you. the storyline. Uh, Ruth and I all next week. It's Love Week, love leading week. up to mm. Valentine's Day. Have a good weekend. See you bye, bye. See you Monday. Bye.